guys, Icon Whisper here, and we'll be playing some more Fire Emblem. I know a few people have asked me to make more episodes for this series, and I am more than happy to do that. So, uh, one quick announcement before I get into playing the game. Uh, on the new Facebook page, uh, someone asked me, or sent me a message asking me to create a playlist for all of the Let's Plays that I've done, broken out individually by game. So uh, I took uh, some time before making this video to go ahead and do that. I was, uh, I've been meaning to do that, but uh, that just gave me the little extra motivation I needed to get that done. So hopefully easier for you guys to uh, just go through and maybe discover uh, some previous episodes uh, that you haven't seen or just make it easy for you guys to um, to watch series that you enjoy. So now that I've said that, let's get into playing the game here. The next morning comes too quickly. Lynn has fought back the bandit's attack. Now she rushes for the border of Burn. If she can reach it, Lysia itself is not far off. For a moment, Lynn stops to imagine the face of a grandfather she's never seen. Oh, we got more bandits moving in there. What is this one going to be called? We're on chapter 5 now. Hopefully we're starting to move beyond the basic uh, introductory level things. We've almost reached the Lysian border. Once we cross, we'll be safe from bandits, right? We should be. I doubt they'll be willing to pursue us across the border. I bet he's wrong, because we saw a little bandit on the map. <laughs> Lysia, at last. It's been a long time. Tomorrow we'll dine on a feast of Lysia's finest foods. And the mistress of the inn at the crossing is said to be a beauty. Ah, yes, food and love. No butter, <laughs> no butter, no better way to restore a man's soul. This is going to be a fine evening, Aiken. If your behavior is as deplorable as ever, we'd best stay elsewhere. We're not here for sightseeing. Oh, come on. That's not fair. Kent, the inn will be fine. As you say, milady. Lindis, you are truly an angel from on high. It's nothing. Forget it. Ah, we'll finally be able to get a good night's sleep. Oh no, these are those bandits are persistent. I'll give them that much. Here they come. Ah, uh, here they are. I found them. What? Not again. They're still after us. Heh heh heh. Don't think you're getting away so easily. and everyone will think the Gantelon bandits have gone soft. So, we care nothing for you or your reputations. We must get to Lysia, get in our way, and you'll pay. Cheeky little thing, aren't you? Let's get them, lads. And no holding back just because there's women with them. Wipe them out. I swear, you are not the woman I agreed to escort. What? What 
what's that supposed to mean? I heard someone was needed to escort a frail Lycian priestess to Ostia. Yes, and I'm that priestess. Frail, you, Sarah, you have no need of any escort to protect you. Even the most hardened criminal would flee and dare after five minutes in your company. I'll return your money, gladly. Now will you please go on to Ostia alone? No, you're my escort, Erk, mine. You're so clean and tidy. A noble woman like myself can't be seen without a proper escort. Your personality's nothing special, but you're not bad to look at. I believe that's my line. And I have to take you all the way to Ostia. I only hope my nerves can endure the journey. What are you mumbling about? You're so gloomy. Mm, something's happening over there. Let's take a look. Ah, of course. The first opportunity to get involved in trouble. And she jumps right in. No amount of money is worth this. Who? <laughs> Why does he just end his sentence with who? Like an owl. Wow, a fight, a fight. Erk, take a look. Fighting those bandits. It's a young girl. Fool, keep your voice down. Hey, what's this? You in league with that she-devil? Hmm. Ah, this is so wrong. swift stroke. Eek, eek, eek. Erk, <laughs> help me. So loud. Sarah, behind me. You there, see if you can match me. Let's see if you can match him. scream. Look, Khan, someone's over there. Sometimes you can talk to different NPCs with the green units on the map. The process is the same as talking to enemies. Give it a try. Okay, we haven't escaped the introductory levels yet here. <laughs> um, excuse me. Hello? Mm. Why are you fighting these bandits? just happened. That's not true. Those ruffians thought that we were with you. You got us into a terrible situation. Now how are you going to get us out? Sarah, if you'd not been so meddlesome, this all could have been avoided. My apologies. Please trouble yourself with us no more. But if you're going to have to fight anyway, shouldn't we team up? It will end things faster, right? That's true. Yes, that's a good idea. Erk, go and help these ladies. But I... Fine. Very good. My name's Lynn. So tell me, will you join arms with us? Yes, we'd be glad to. My name is Sarah. This is my escort, Erk. Fight now, Erk. Sigh. <laughs> he doesn't like that. So Erk's a mage and Sarah's a cleric. Mages use the magic of truth. That's a weird way to put it. But uh, clerics use staffs to restore HP. It's obvious. Hello, you're Khan, right? I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. By the way, see this contrary mage right here, or mage here with me. His name is Urk. I think he's been hurt. I am Urk's employer, master, I suppose you could say. What I'm getting at is, I was thinking of healing him free of charge. I know, I know, I'm generous to a fault. Hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? Praise my generosity. <laughs> anyway, that's the deal. Please direct me to him. Okay, so let's... I'm going to use my 
last half. Susceptible to physical attacks. Just because they're 
versatile doesn't mean you should put them in harm's way. It does you no good if they are lost because of your carelessness. We'll move up right here. Oh, this guy done goofed. Kent was not happy.
first thing. Healing powers amaze me. Only those in the service of good can wield them. You helped us tremendously. Well, it's time for us to go. Take care. Goodbye, Lynn. Fare you well. You too, Irk. Goodbye. Well, let us be on our way, Irk. What have we here? Another wildflower? Perhaps a butterfly? What an absolutely delectable creature. Oh my, are you one of Lynn's companions? Please, call me Sane. I'm Sarah. I serve House Ostia. Sarah, what a lyrical name. I am in service to Castle Galen. Oh, so is Lynn a member of the Marcus's family? She is the granddaughter of our Lord, the Marcus. Mm, such an important person. Sarah, what deviousness are you contemplating now? D, having a person of power in your debt is never a bad thing. Can't be serious. Oh, Zane, do you think we could join the Lady Lindis's company? She seems like such a nice person, and I would ever so much like to help her. Of course, we couldn't be happier. Why, we were only just saying how we need some more fighting power. Are you being hunted or something? Yes, it's an inheritance, inheritance dispute. Assassins everywhere. Oh my, in that case, my healing staff and Irk's magic should come in handy. Well, I, er, it sounds dangerous. Your staff and magic would be extremely helpful. Please wait here. I will go and speak with Lady Lindis on your behalf. Unbelievable. This is fantastic, Irk. Our good deeds will earn us gratitude beyond imagining. I, I, I think I'm going to be ill. Oh, what's going on at Castle Galen? That little girl crossed the border. Yes, Lord Lundgren. She's en route to Arafen. Fool, send out soldiers to meet her. this now. First the old man, and now the girl. They cling to life like a drowning man to a rock. Double the boys in strength. If he struggles, hold him down and pour it down his throat. Once the girl is gone, Galen is mine. I will let no one stand in my way. Yes, Arafin and Galen have 
was his strength. Looks like we've got a smooth road ahead. If we could pick up some soldiers, the road to Kaelin would be that much safer. I'm truly sorry for hardships you've suffered so far. Don't be silly. You are so capable, Kent. Kent? Oh, and so are you, Sane. Of course I am. The castle awaits. What's going on here? This is terrible. The castle is burning. What did you say? What's happening? Smoke from the castle. Hey. What are those men doing? Oh no. Enemy soldiers. Who are you? You. You're Lindis, aren't you? Ah. Uh, or ah. Uh, I don't know. That, that might make more sense. What do you? No questions. Prepare yourself. Hey. Oh, who's this? We've got another new character here. Oh, wow. One shot there. R. Ah. What? An arrow? Who are? Milady Lindis. Are you alright? I'm fine. He. This man saved me. May I ask your name? His name is dot 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 dot. Wait. Why did you help me? I thought a Sakaian plainswoman was being attacked. I was mistaken. No, you are right. I'm from Sakai. I'm Lynn, the daughter of the Lorca chieftain. The Lorca. There were survivors. Yes. You should leave at once. A blaze has started in the castle, and it's spreading. Don't be foolish and waste the life I just saved. You're from the castle. What's happening? How severe is the fire? Is the Marcus safe? The castle is under attack, and the Marcus has been accosted. The man who attacked you was probably one of the marauders. As captain of the castle guard, it's my duty to rescue the Marcus. I see. All right, then. We'll help you. Milady. Why? These brigands are after me. If they're attacking the castle, it's because of me. So I must help if I can. It sounds like you're involved somehow. Let's go. You'll accept our aid. I'm Wrath of the Kudola. Kudola. Our tribes may be different, but I will not abandon a woman of the Sake. Thank you, Wrath. A thousand blessings upon you, and a thousand curses upon our enemy. Come. Who's this guy here? You. What are you doing in my house? Peace. I mean, no, Jane, no danger to you. Your home offers a good view of the battle outside. Look, I'll pay you for the privilege, please. Like a vulture waiting for the spoils, eh? Terrible. Pay up. I'll be hiding below, so don't bother me. I wouldn't dream of it. Now then, which side has the most to offer? Once the Marcus is safe, my men can move in. Perhaps the secret passageway. Secret passageway. An underground tunnel leading to the throne room. There are triggers in the barracks that will open the tunnel. Head through the passage to the throne room and rescue the Marcus. Once that's done, can you drive the enemy from the castle? If we can release those triggers, my men and I can handle the rest. There are three triggers, though. All three need to be released, or the entrance won't open. But the doors to the barracks are locked. The enemy's within. If we don't get inside and finish them, we're stuck. So opening those doors is our first objective. Okay. So we have to open the doors and reach the three triggers located inside. To open doors, you need door keys or the, the services of a thief.
visiting homes or villages is also a good way to get information. Okay, so let's go talk to that thief up there. Hey you, can I talk to you? Who are you? I'm Matthew, a specialist in acquisitions of all kinds. Would you like to buy my services? I've no need for a thief, really. And how do you plan on opening the barrack doors? What? How did you know about Bullseye? Don't be mad. Hire me. For you, I'll even lower my normal rate. I do need those doors opened. Okay, you're hired. Why did you choose to ally yourself with me? I was watching the battle from up above. Your group looked a lot more fun than the dead guy. Pretty simple, really. You're so odd. It's time to get to work. The thief Matthew has joined your group. Thieves have picks, which they can use to open doors and chests. Picks are usable by thieves alone. Matthew. That was a short introduction. <laughs> Everyone else talked more. Okay. The door has been opened. With that, you can also see inside the room behind the door. Within the room, there's a different colored floor tile. Tiles that seem different in some way might be the triggers we're looking for.
eyes deceive me. That's a chest. Say, God, since we came all this way, what say we help ourselves? Huh? What do you mean, no? Don't be such a bore. If you want to win, you've got to use every means at your disposal. That's an ironclad rule. Yeah, I know stealing's bad. I'm well aware of that. We're saving the Marcus, right? Let's just call this an advance on our reward, okay? So I can open chess, and now it's going to force us to open the chest. Hey, changed your mind. Hurrah, treasure time, treasure time. Okay, and we have to stand on top of it to open it. And we got angelic robe. Hey, this is an, an angelic robe. This is good for those of us on the less robust side, like me, for example. Magic items like this that increase one's abilities vanish after being used. Give them to people who need them most, but don't fret too much about it, or you'll never, never use them. Simply holding on to a useful item does no one any good. So Angelic Robe increases a character's max HP by a small amount. Okay. Okay. So there's only a limited uh, number of uses. houses that are locked up. The captain of the Marcus's guard is a fellow named Rath. I've heard tell that he's a nomad from the plains of Sakai. Odd, considering how the Marcus so obviously hates the nomads. I guess the Marcus is pleased to have a nomad under his control. The ways of aristocrats are beyond my comprehension. of Arafat's hatred for the people of Sakai is well known. Nomads are barred entrance to the city on the Marcus's orders. He says he will not allow the nomads' stench to infect his city. Long ago, the Marcus was in love with the Marcus Galen's daughter. daughter. It said she spurned him in favor of a nomadic prince. Even so, I think the Marcus goes too far in his treatment of the horsemen. Okay.
castle has been damaged in your family's petty inheritance dispute. My, my apologies. When I heard that Lady Madeline's daughter was in trouble, I thought to lend my assistance. I find I've changed my mind. I withdraw my offer. Marcus Arafin, you gave me your word, my lord. Your name is Kent, is it not? You failed to inform me of the one most vital detail. What? What do you mean? This girl does resemble Lady Madeline, but I didn't expect to see her so dated with the blood of Sakai. of Kaelin would be troubled to meet this nomadic mongrel. Oh wow, this guy's harsh. You, saying, old. My apologies, my lord Marcus. Mm, your man is poorly disciplined. Marcus Arafin, please, if you would grace us with your aid. I hear Marcus Kaelin is ill and abed. I question whether he will survive to meet this girl. In which case, his brother Lundgren will claim his title. And I certainly wish to avoid trouble with the coming Marcus. You scheming, Zane. I understand, Kent Zane. We take our leave at once. Milady Lindis, we. I am proud of the Sakai blood that runs through my veins. I will not accept aid from one who disparages my heritage. That was well done, milady. The Marcus is allowed. Don't worry about anything. We're all here for you. Isn't that so, Kent? I beg your forgiveness. Why are you apologizing, Kent? I've been so concerned with seeing you to Kaylin. I failed to take your feelings into account. Is that it? Trouble yourself no more. You have put my safety above all else. I have seen that. Hold your head up and be proud. Milady Lindis. Bah, arrogant child. If she had but shed a single tear, I would have granted her request. Lycian nobles will never understand those prideful savages. Are those your true feelings towards the nomads of Sakai, my lord? What? Oh, Rath, I didn't see you there. My comments do not reflect on you. You are my captain. I'm proud of your service. Of course, as long as we bend our knee to you, you care not where we're from. But when an equal comes from my lands, what conceit? Wrath, how can you speak to me like that? I have treated you well, have I not? I have paid you well. I have treated you better than your kind deserves. You will never understand. My service ends here. Oh, dang. That guy's a jerk. The Marcus of Arafen. He said my grandfather was ill. We must hurry to Kaelin. As we approach Kaelin, Lundgren's obstacles will be more difficult to overcome. However, I vowed to see you through to the end, milady. I'm counting on you, Kent. I'm with you, too. Thank you, Sane. God, thank you for always standing at my side. It's because all of you that I, I will persevere. They will never break my spirit. Wrath, what is it? What are you? I overheard the Marcus talking to himself. Lynn of the Larka, proud daughter 